Hello, greetings. All right, so I've seen this a lot. People mentioning that uh, when they try to run Topaz on a smart object, when they're trying to make a GIF, uh, it'll crash before they can save it. And I've actually had this happen to me myself. Um, now, this isn't the method I use to run Topaz when I make GIFs, but it is a good method and I know how to get around it. So I guess it's a good time as any to make a tutorial video. Now, this may or may not be the... Uh, like fifth time I try to record this, even though I'm winging it. I'm not saying it crashed on me a few times, you know, because obviously I'm trying to tell you how to stop it from crashing. But, uh, you know, I'm just saying Topaz is annoying sometimes. But anyways, bear with me because I might have forgot some of the stuff I had to say. But anyway, so I got up to this point here. This is like after you're done clipping the video in AVI Synth or however you get a video, you do file, import, video frames to layers, and you're left with like... Uh, this a frame animation I've got frames here and layers here now as you can see I've got hundred and eight frames in this animation and now that's way too many frames obviously if I'm making a GIF on Tumblr this is a 268 pixel wide GIF it's a big one there's no way in hell I'm gonna get hundred and eight frames in this thing and I know that uh, so you want to clean up the frames before you run Topaz because otherwise you'll be running Topaz on hundred and eight frames and for a lot of people, Topaz runs a little slow, uh, depending on your system. So if you can cut down how many frames you're running it on, uh, you'll cut down the time by a lot. So usually you just watch through the animation and you kind of pick the scene and you want to ballpark it. So making enough GIFs, I can see this has like the color in the background and everything. I already know that I'm not going to get like over 60 frames on this one. But... I'll ballpark it and I'll take like maybe 70 frames. I'll try to get a little greedy. So just uh, delete frames you know you don't need and try to cut it down to a reasonable amount. And then from there you can uh, clean it up even more at the end before you save. So usually I would just watch through this. But since there's 108 frames and I'm not going to waste time right now. I'm just going to cut uh, half of them. So I'll take out frames 1 through 54. Now I've got 54 frames. So you can imagine... Uh, Running Topaz on 54 frames is literally twice as fast as running them on 108 frames. So clean up before anything. That's the first step. Next, you want to convert to timeline. So you have a frame animation now. You want a timeline animation. Usually, I just click this little button on the bottom left here. You can see it says convert to video timeline. So click that. It's going to change it to a timeline. Next, you want to select all the layers. You, uh, you can do it manually, clicking one and the first one and then the last one. Or... Just hit select up here and all layers or the shortcut all control plus A, which is usually how I do it because it's faster. So once you have all the layers selected, you want to right click any one of them and convert to a smart object. Now you've got one smart object, one layer with a really high GPA. So uh, this is the normal stuff like this is all standard stuff if you've ever tried this. But we're going to get to the point where it would crash and hopefully have it not crash at some point if we're lucky crossing my fingers. So you want to run the Topaz on this smart object. So filter Topaz Labs and you run whichever ones you want. I'm just going to run clean because I've got these amazing settings prepared for you guys here. Uh, I'm, a ver I'm, a, I'm a big talent with Topaz. So you can, uh, you can take these settings if you want. They're pretty amazing. No, they're here to, they're gross so you, so I can, so you can see they work. Because if they were too subtle, you probably wouldn't be able to tell it actually worked. So... Once you've got your Topaz settings, you fix it up however you want. Hopefully your settings look a hell of a lot better than these do. Otherwise, you might want to adjust them. Uh, and then you hit OK. And now you run Topaz on the one layer. And it seems like that was really quick. That's a little too good to be true. This, I think this is where most people try to save. Or maybe they put a PSD in here and then they try to save it and it crashes. Because uh, there's more stuff you have to do. So uh, what you want to do is click this little, this little icon right here on the top right and hit convert frames flatten frames into clips now this might be different depending on the version of photoshop you have and i'm not really sure what it says on older versions but i don't know <laughs> use your imagination it's probably something similar so this is going to flatten all the frames into clips and now this is where it runs topaz on each one of the frames that we had before so this is where you sit and you twiddle your thumbs or whatever and you just wait around. This is like, why is there always an awkward part in every video I make where I have to wait for some bar to fill and I'm trying to talk in the middle of it, but I really have nothing to talk about. So I'm just sitting here like an ass. But anyways, 
this is gonna hopefully not take too long because my computer's decent and um i cut the frames if it was 108 frames i would be here for a miserable amount of time actually this is already a miserable amount of time i would edit this out and do like some fancy speed thing but um i don't got no time for that <laughs> so i'm just gonna stay here and wait for it and hope that if the uh, topaz gods are decent to me it won't take too long you know that's cool because i could talk for hours you know wish i had somebody answering back though that would have been decent damn how sad but this is actually quick compared to some other like i, I know some people really have a miserable time with topaz running incredibly slow so cut those frames up before anything or you'll be here for a long ass time just go do something else anyway so now they're done now you see each frame is turned into a clip and also into a layer see how many more layers we have now we have 50 53 of them 54 if you count zero which you should okay so now you want to do you want to click here and you want to do convert frames uh convert to frame animation i hope i'm not actually positive pretty sure now you click convert to frame animation i could probably just click that button on the bottom left again but i'm not trying to take any chances so now convert to frame animation it's going to ask me something i'm not going to read it i'm just going to click continue because i'm crazy like that now you've got all the layers and you got a frame animation with one sad little frame uh you also the well, first thing you want to do is delete this frame uh this one layer 108 that's the old one uh, it served us well but we don't need it anymore so click on it and hit this little trash can and delete it goodbye now you've got frame 0 to 53. These are all the new Topaz ones. So you want to make uh, the frame animation out of these layers. So you click this icon on the top right. And you do make frames from layers. And it'll turn each layer into one frame. So now you see, oh my god, 54 layers, uh, frames and layers. Uh, now you want to click this little icon here where it says once. And you want to change this from uh once to forever you gotta change that even if you're a twice fan you know what i'm saying because because once yeah, no that wasn't funny okay you click forever and then select all the frames so you click on the first one and you go all the way to the last one and you shift and you click i don't know if there's another way to select all the frames i actually have no idea anyways you select them all and then you click this little down arrow on any one of them next to where it says zero seconds you'll see it says select frame delay time you click that and you hit other and you put in a reasonable time i'm sure you know how to do this if you've made tips before and i'll put like 0 0.03 no no not 32 03.03 .03, whatever and i'll click okay now that's going to set the delay to 0 0.03 and it's going to loop forever and you click play and you'll see it is deliciously topazed beautiful amazing phenomenal settings and it's an animation everything seems in order so i'm gonna do file uh how, how do you do the safer web but i usually just do alt shift control s so yeah safer web legacy is how i do it and it's gonna come up with this thing it hasn't crashed yet so we're in luck now it's not under 3 mb so this is usually where you'd like delete a couple layers i know i wasn't gonna get over 60 anyways you you'd add your psd and you do all your stuff delete your frames and then you save it right here you name it uh cool topaz dot gif and you save it and then you uh you got your cool topaz gif here and you open it up and as you can see it is a cool topaz gif so yeah, that's how you do that without Photoshop crying and crashing and Topaz being incredibly disrespectful. Hopefully that was helpful.